Every February and March, there's a massive hidden migration across Britain, all under cover of darkness. In early spring, thousands of frogs, newts and toads make their way out of the fields and woodlands back into the lakes and ponds to breed. In this area of Bath, amphibians have been making their annual pilgrimage from these fields for decades, getting to this lake about half a mile away. And an increase in traffic has meant this journey's become quite hazardous and has been the demise of many of them. So, for years, a band of dedicated, trained volunteers have been helping them out, and Anna Ferguson is one of the passionate recruits. I started about four years ago, and every year I'd sort of seen, you know, in the press, people come up here, you know, to help the toads over the road, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll do that. Stupidly, I thought that the toads would all just get together all in one little line and all just cross in one place. So I couldn't believe it when I came up here. And there was just hundreds of toads everywhere, all over the road. And now what about your nose studs then? I've got a toad here. And there's a tattoo, I believe. A great crested newt. Wow. <laughs> so when you see those in the water, you can ID them really easily. Easily, yeah. We don't yeah. need an ID book when I'm out. Despite their reputation as pond dwellers, toads prefer to spend most of their time on land and during the colder months they burrow deep into the ground and under compost, sheltering until the spring. But when they wake up, there's just one thing on their mind. And that's making more toads. Toads can potentially live for up to 40 years and are very particular about where they spawn. Every year they come back to breed and the toads always come back to the pond that they were born in. The frogs, they're not particularly bothered, they can go to other ponds or lakes, but the toads always come back. There's quite a few down here, aren't Yeah, there? we've got a lot of down here. Wow! Everyone's coming into the pond, really trying to find themselves um, a mate and off they go. And quite a bit of action going on as Lots well. Lots of action, <laughs> as, yeah, absolutely. They all come back, they want just one thing and one thing only and they're going in the lake straight away to get it. There are just two types of native toad in this country, the natterjack, which is extremely rare, and the common toad, which are the ones heading this way tonight. But despite being called common, their numbers are in decline, so protecting them is all important. Preparations have already been put in place. The road has been closed to traffic and a small army of volunteers are ready, armed with buckets and torches. The problem is the road is still open to local traffic and although amphibians prefer to move about on wet nights, tonight has been mainly dry, but that hasn't stopped a few of them migrating. So you've got newts in here? Yeah, we do. Um, they're so cute. Look at those. Well, they have an even harder job than the toads then because they've got tiny, tiny very, legs, very they? They've got a yeah. long, long way to go and to get down to And they're to see on the road as well. What have you yeah. got? Oh, lovely. You found that one in the road just here, where are yes. you going to put it? Well, fortunately, th th I found this one where I can easily put it across the road in a very convenient spot so it can carry on down to the lake. I'm just going to gently take it out and pop it there. Oh, on oh, the side. Oh, here we look. go. Yes. Aww. It's my first toad. <laughs> can I pick it up? Of course, yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that lovely, lovely. colouring. Oh, and there's a car it's coming, super. so I've just saved that one from certain death because there's a car have. on its way. Right. Okay. Last year, the group of volunteers saved an estimated 4,500 amphibians, and year on year, they're saving more. So what have you got in your bucket, then? I've got what we call a doubler. A doubler? Yeah. There's one on top of the other. <laughs> so there's the male on the, on the back. Yep. Of the female, he's slightly smaller. He is slightly smaller. So is yeah. he just going to hang on and get a free ride all the way down to the lake? He will do, yeah. Lazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to put them. Where yeah, do you I'll put just them? Pop them back over here. And they'll off they'll go. Yep. Wow. The volunteers will usually stay to around midnight, when although there are still animals crossing, fewer cars are around. Anna and the rest of the team will be out here tomorrow night and the night after that, and in fact every night for the next few weeks, making sure these toads don't croak.